Another beautiful morning out here at the shop. Got both of the trucks out here cleaned up nice and shiny. Looking good. Also, I noticed neighbor went and got a new truck. Must have replaced this Tesla Cybertruck. Anyway, besides that, uh, that's still going. All right, so the plan is for today. We are headed out to an old abandoned mansion that was recently bought up, and we're going to go and renovate it. That's the plan, at least. So we're going to be taking the Vermeer Mini Skid Steer, Pro Z900 Zero Turn Lawnmower, John Deere Gator, and the Kubota Skid Steer, a few other little things as well. But we got a long day ahead of ourselves here, so we better get going. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps the video out a ton, and I appreciate it so much. Anyway, we got to go grab a trailer here so we can load up and get out of here. All right, so we're going to grab the PJ trailer. Next to the semi-trailer, it's the biggest one we have and kind of works best for big jobs. All right, so what are we going to load up first here? I think the mirror is going to be the best bet. And then also, once we get there, we have a few pieces of rented equipment that we got delivered because we don't have everything we're exactly going to need to do that job gonna load this on sideways here real quick so we're not gonna be working on the house itself too much more the outside getting it all cleaned up we'll still be doing some work on the roof and stuff but there's separate people coming in for those other jobs but basically what we're gonna be doing is trying to get the property renovated all right we'll load the zero turn up here and then the skid steer and we'll be on our way unless i need to move the tractor to actually get to the skid steer can i get around that uh no okay need to move the tractor also something i probably should mention here real quick is we might be moving shops in the very near future here. Hold on, I have to grab the pellet forks. So basically, we ended up getting an investor that wants to expand the business a ton. And to do that, we need to move to a way bigger shop. And we're probably going to be changing up some equipment if we end up doing that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, whether we should or not. All right, everything's strapped down here. The, uh, the Ford, well, she's squatting a little bit. A lot of weight on the back there. Anyway, we got about a three-hour drive here, so we better get going. Dang, would you look at that? neighbor finally got an upgrade anyway i gotta stop for diesel before we get out on the highway there gonna fill everything up but i'll see you guys when we get there all right so we're just turning in here to the crazy long driveway to this mansion here drive actually took a lot longer than i thought it would but oh well we're just about there now so hopefully all the rent equipment that we ordered is there if not it should be showing up pretty quick that's the hope anyway all right here we are and looks like only one piece of the rented equipment is here all right well that's nice well we still got plenty of stuff we can get started on all right trailer is unfolded here we're gonna go and unstrap everything here real quick there we go and let's uh unload the Kubota so the main issue with the house here is all of this junk in the front that really needs to be taken away badly here so let me see what else is back here just a lot of bushes, not really our stuff here. Yeah, I think it's mostly just the stuff in the front. Uh, the sea can is supposed to be getting picked up today. So are these bins here. So we'll have to get those moved into a better spot for the truck to back in and pick them up. But I think it's mostly just getting a lot of this junk out of here. And then we'll be good to go. And then, of course, we got to mow the entire yard here. And then I think there was a few things on the balcony that we had to take down or there's vines on the side of the house or something that we needed the uh, lift for. I, You know what? I can't think of the exact name. Y'all are probably going to roast me in the comments, but I can't think of the exact name of this. I don't think it's like a bucket lift or anything. I just can't remember the exact name of it. Anyway, we're going to put the mower over here. And then the gators for after we get everything mowed here, we got to spray out all those bushes over there through the trees up front of the house. There's a lot of stuff we got to do. But for now, I think the uh, Vermeer can stay on there. We're going to take this, get it to a better spot behind the house there, and then we'll get to work on getting the front done. All right, here we go. All right, we're going now. Oh, it's a little wet over here. It's a little slippery. It'll go eventually. All right, there we go. Got it now. All right, we'll get there eventually. This thing just likes to take its sweet time. I just want to get up on the roof here real quick. That way I can get a good assessment of what we need to do up there. Just go on up here like so. This thing should lift high enough. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, we're almost there. Turn it. Got to be nice and careful here. Yep, there we go. Got it. All right, let's go take a look and see what needs to be done. You know, I'm not entirely sure what needs to be done up here. I, I might have to call the owner. I mean, if there's nothing that has to be done up here, then what the heck? This makes no sense. I don't know. He's paying for the rental of all this equipment, so I'm going to jump back in here. I got other stuff I can do down there. All right, let's bring this down here. Lower it nice and easy. Oh, boy. That's a little fast. And that'll be good right there. All right, let's go get some stuff done in the front. So we're supposed to have a rented dump truck showing up here any minute now. So once that shows up, we'll be able to start getting some of this stuff out of the way. All right, look what decided to show up here. Okay, I'm going to jump in the skid steer here. We're probably going to get most of this loaded up. The cars are going to stay here for now. We got a scrap guy coming to pick those up later on today. And then the rest of it 
yep pretty much just going to the dump truck and headed right to the dump so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so we've been working for a few hours here finally got some of this stuff cleaned up lots of dump trucks loads later uh the guy for these scrap cars here is supposed to be coming any minute now i'm just kind of tossing these barrels on the forks here if they'll actually go on and they kind of fit so we can get them put into the dump truck okay they don't really work yeah you can't really pick them up the best here uh we might be able to make it in there come on uh oh might be stuck on there now come on all right we got it perfect you know what why didn't i do it this way from the start this is way easier placing them on their side okay i can't fit a second one on there but oh well another trip then i guess but once we get these barrels out of the way and the cars out of the way we can get to doing some mowing oh it fell off okay all right so the scrap metal guy I got here and dad gum does he ever have a truck oh look at this thing look at the grill on that that's one heck of a truck let take a peek in these oh man he's got the purple oh man this thing looks good heck of a truck for hauling scrap shoot all right well we better get these cars loaded up for him and then he can get out of here but man that is a nice truck maybe i should maybe i should uh ask him if he wants to trade the f-450 for something like that dad gum that is cool but maybe let me know in the comments should we get something like that i know i just bought a truck but hey that's pretty cool sounds pretty good too all right cars are out of here we got the front pretty much all cleaned up here except for all the bushes and stuff we're pretty much just going to spray these out and just let them die. And then we'll cut them up there with a chainsaw, which won't be too much work here. But we got to do some mowing first because this yard is, uh, well, actually back here, since it hardly gets any sun, it hardly grows. But in the front over this way, it's uh, pretty tall. So we got to get that mowed here. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm going to park this by the garage. There's too much weeds and stuff over here. So not a lot of grass is grown. I'll just move it over this way here. All right. And that should be good there for now. Okay, I'm going to jump on the mower here, get to work mowing this, and then we'll jump on the gator there. And uh, try spray some of the big bushes, trees, mini trees. I don't know what you want to call these. Just basically try spray them out there because they are pain in the butt. Good old hustler here. Always love this lawnmower. Yeah, I may as well just cut this anyways. Make it nice and short. Make it look good again. And we got one of those little backpack sprayers there for uh, back here. Hold on, I'm just going to jump off here real quick and show you guys. So these things, these are a pain to get out. And even if you try cut them with a chainsaw, They'll just grow right back. So basically you have to spray them out, then cut them. And then they seem to stay away. I don't know how this pool still looks so crystal clear. It's been sitting for years. Anyway, I better continue with mowing here. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, there we go. Got the uh, yard looking a lot better now. I like this. All right, well, I guess I'm going to jump on the gator here. Try to get to work with this. Hopefully I can spray most of this stuff out. I should be able to. And then we actually don't have to load up much except the stuff we bring because the rental company is just going to come back here and uh, take it all back for us. Oh boy, I'm going in the bush here a little bit. All right, we've already got this filled up with spray here, so we're just going to go along this way. Try to get in there as best we can and just spray it out. Always seems to take quite a while, but once it's done, it looks way better. Oh boy, we're going to have to actually turn around here because we can't go around this way. Once we got the inside done, we'll go around by the field back there and do the outside there. And then when that's done, should make it look a lot better once we get all the uh, bushes out of there. Also got to go around the house eventually. All right. It took about two hours here, but we finally got everything done. I'm just going to load this up right here, actually. Get it done. Then we can head back home. May as well load the lawnmower up while we're at it. And then we'll grab the Kubota. All right. There we go. Skid steers loaded up. We'll strap everything down and we'll be out of here. All right. Another job done. Ford is uh, about bottomed out on its suspension. I probably should have got airbags with this thing when i bought it but it didn't all right so we're finally back at the main yard here man that was a long drive but we may have actually better time this time i don't know why less traffic i guess but huh glad that's done the yard is man it is not looking too great needs another mow i swear i mow this every week but yet it still just comes back twice as high it's ridiculous anyway i think we're gonna go unload some of this equipment here gotta get it unstrapped first i uh, gotta wash it all though oh jumped to the wrong piece of equipment got to get it all washed the skid steer could probably use it there we go back this off here perfect all right um what else is gonna need to be washed after the skid steer here gator's fine i think the vermeer is fine didn't really use that a whole lot used it for a little bit but not much uh mowers look looks fine i think it's just uh the Kubota. that's pretty much the main thing that we used for the entire project with loading up those cars loading up the barrels pretty much everything else there Basically, we just used the Kubota, which that worked completely fine. All right. I think that's good there. Put this thing back in the shop. And then I think we're supposed to have a fuel truck coming, actually, in the next 45 minutes. Got to fill that diesel tank up again. They've been running a bit behind on our fuel deliveries, so hopefully they can get back on schedule for that. And then the Massey Ferguson, actually, here had that for a few weeks. And uh, it's just about up and going here. So we finally got everything looking good again. 
But anyway, guys, that's going to be the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. One of the last few times you guys see the shop. So uh, we might be moving soon to a bigger, better one. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy. And I'll see you all in the next one. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck. It's time to do some cruising